I was approached, must have been 1985 probably, uh, about being commissioned for the new sculpture trail in the Forest of Dean. And the brief was it needed to relate to the forest. I was made aware of the original industries there, which was the charcoaling and then later coal. So it occurred to me to make a, a dome, um, reminiscent of the charcoal burning, which you end up with a big dome of, of charred wood. I've made a lot of black domes out of much larger pieces of wood, and they are uh, a lot in private collections, as some in, in museums. It is a, a form, and like the ash dome, which I was, 22 ash trees I planted in 1977, which is about wood coming. The black dome is about wood going, going back in, into the ground. Because the, it was only in the mid 20th century, really, that sculpture started to become eph ephemeral and temporal, instead of, because it was always considered to be permanent, you know, like Greek statues and bronze or marble. Because trees are not actually made of wood, they are a living organism. It's only when they're dead that they become wood and then they're reintegrating. So the black dome and the ash dome, the one's coming and the other's going. pieces can be seen as having a, a, a life. And of course there's a lot more experience at the sculpture trail now because of what you're doing now with decommissioning. So we'll have to see what, what there is, but I think the actual unearth, rather than just getting a big digger in and digging it out, it was actually to painstakingly remove the coal and remove the pieces and remove the staples, cut the wire and get the pieces out. And then we'll see what, we, what we've got and see whether, how it can have a, another life, having had this experience of being buried in coal for 30 years. <laughs>